Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back to Disney Dreamlight Valley, where today, today, we are going to go ahead and conclude the storyline of Woody and also Buzz. So let's begin because they're both level 10. Finally, finally, they are level 10. So with that being said, let's get to it. I think I figured out the problem with the lights on my carousel. Have you got the time to help me out? Oh, course, buddy. Okay, I was searching around the carousel, trying to figure out why the lights weren't working. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that, that, that's just Woody. Woody's cheering. When I realized I hadn't checked what was in that old toy chest yet, when I went to open it, the second I touched it, wham! The lights started flickering. I hear music starting up. The carousel was powered <laughs> back on. Whatever was inside that the chest is the key to powering up the carousel again. What you say? Help me get to the bottom of this. Let's take another look at that toy chest. All right. So before we progress with that, let's go ahead and get to Mickey before he goes to sleep. Unless he's ready to sleep. All right. Yes. So I'm keeping my costume on until we finish Buzz. Okay. We are still a cadet. Excuse me, buddy. Excuse me. Minnie's over there. Okay. I don't. Okay. Mickey's awake. Okay. We're good. We're good. Hello, Mickey. All right, I I'm just gonna take some paper from your um your house. Whoa! They changed it. I haven't been here for a while. Mickey, where where's your paper? Oh, wait, it wasn't here the whole time. Oh boy! All right, craft lady. Right okay, we got it. All right, so with Woody falling, uh, okay, we should be. Good. I haven't had time to like. I made. I made sure. Um. I mentioned about like you know crafting station. I don't want to keep running all over the place. I oh, I forgot to make extras so I can just place them all around everyone's house. All right. What? Okay. Beautiful. All right. Buzz. Uh. Is he at home? He's usually at home or on the uh, cliff side. Although he is, he is really difficult to see because how tiny he is. Excellent work, Cadet. Now they see when no one without the Space Rangers are a force to be reckoned with. In fact, I'll personally deliver one to Ursula. How about I take it to Ursula? Uh, you're too high ranking for this. It's a good task for a Cadet. You're right. Great way to show initiative. Since you've proven yourself, I'll let you pick two other villagers to help spread the word about Star Command. I'll go I'll go with Maui and Adano. They're there uh both three enough to spread the word. <laughs> I'm sure everyone knows about our Space Ranger initiative in no time. Alright, alright, let's go, let's go. Alright, Maui Okay, Donald okay I actually don't know where any of them are. Hold on tight. Alright, so Donald inside of uh, uh, his uncle's place, so we're gonna go to him later at the end because uh, Donald won't actually leave the the shop But the other two will leave so oh, there's a chest. I missed a chest. No way If you need help, Maui's your guy. Um, right here Maui. I need your help. Hi, buddy. Here, take this Take that Oh, hey! What's this? It's got a bunch of pictures on it. Oh, I met this guy. He's a little fella, Buzz. It's Buzz Lightyear left. It's the legend of Buzz Lightyear and Star Command. Uh, you lasso the sun. He escaped a fiery inferno. You fought a giant cat. He escaped from a vicious dog ten times his size. Let's go with this one. <laughs> I gotta respect that. If they heard of the Stark man, it can't be a very known legend. Oh. I get it. It's not easy to build a legend when you're just starting out. You always keep get your stories around. I'll tell you what. I'll help you spread the legend of Buzz Lightyear and the Star Command. All right. Okay. See ya. So I think with Ursula, I think we're gonna go ahead and ask her to uh, play along. I'm not too sure. Because I hope Max is doing okay without me. I'm pretty sure he's fine. I'm pretty sure Ursula's gonna try to be nice to him. I'm not too sure. Last time I saw Ursula, she was over here. In her house. I think she's in her house. Yes, I left her house in the awesome woods. There, What's fine. this? Ugh, you're bothering about the annoying little creature again. Angel fish. Wouldn't it be better if I turn him into something that can't move or talk? A sea anonymy, perhaps. Uh, why are you so angry? Huh. Ask yourself, dear. How would you react if someone was constantly harassing you simply because who you are? Oh, 
Uh, proving them I could be nice. Mm-hmm. 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 Those who can see themselves in authority rarely change their mind. Just look at... <laughs> that's true. That's true. Tristan. Oh, but I've been playing the game for so long enough to know what to do. I pretend I respect the irritated. There you go. Play thing. There you go. All right. Let's go ahead and go to the last person. Donald. Howdy, buddy. Here you go. Huh? What's this? A bunch of funny pictures of Buzz? It's Buzz Lightyear left. It's trying to spread the word about his most daring feats, like his many heroic rescue mission, exploration, the Owl's Toy Barn, encounter with the nefarious bear named Lots. Oh, let's go, uh, heroic rescue missions? Oh, no, bear. Mm, then maybe we can do something more about these villains in the village, like Ursula. I know I just she's not up to no good. In fact, I've been thinking of having a little talk to her myself. And I'll tell everyone about Buzz and Star Command. I hope you told me to make villains behave. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll get around it, buddy. Mission accomplished. Peace and is restored in the village. I'm a former what I hear Maui and Don have already started spreading the good word about Star Command. <gasps> We're gonna get new members. Do, do I get a promotion? And Ursula seemed to gotten the message. I have no reports of any schemes by her. Hmm, what's our next mission? <laughs> I haven't found it yet, but I'll be sure to tell you as soon as I do. Thanks again. Yes. I have a mission of utmost importance to us. We need to gather intel on the previous operation in this quadrant. What do you say? W wait, what? Brief me, brief me on the mission, buddy. I was patrolling for threats near the river in the forest of Valley when I was struck by a strange feeling. It was like I had been there before. I believe it may have been the sight of an impressive feat or heroism, but I don't remember what it was. Mmm, your memories are coming back. Ah, so that was happening. How can I remember more? Let's go investigate the river of the in the forest of Valor. Okay, I, I okay. It's the best place to start. I like that plan. Let's go. Just remember, whatever transpired happened long ago. We might have dug to we might have to dig to find answers. Alright, so while we're here, we're just gonna go off and finish off uh footies. Alright, 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 buddy. Is this it? I I I saw this before. What is it? It's a note. Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen this for a while. A toy chest full of childhood mem memorabilia from the villagers. A p powers of the carousel's light. Love seeing Merlin's magic at work. What, what did the piece of paper say? Uh, the toy chest was enchanted by Merlin. The carousel lights are powered by childhood memories from treasured possessions lent by other vill villagers. That's it, I remember now. The toy chest used to be full of all sorts of stuff. The spell seemed pretty powerful if you touched the toy chest starting to make a light flicker. I bet if we go on three childhood souvenirs, if we were just got three childhood souvenirs, it would be it would start the carousel up. I like the way you think, partner. Who should we ask? We need to make sure that we talk to someone with... Huge custom memory, a childhood spent with some magical creatures, a sense of adventure for oh, magical creatures. Didn't Kristoff grow up with trolls watching over him? A bunch of trolls, oh my goodness, they're everywhere. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Can you think of anybody else? We need to make sure it's talk someone talk to, oh wait, it's all the same thing, okay. So Kristoff, yeah! Ariel, okay, she's walking around, I think she's walking, I put her with feet. Can you, uh, oh, uh, okay, and third one, keep. Um, okay, Moana, okay. I bet she's got yeah. something. That's a great list. I'm pretty sure they'd be happy to help us. Alright, so along the way, if we make it to Buzz, then we go to him, but along the way, I'll, I'll see about these three. Alright, Aaron, both of them, two of them are down here. Two of them are down here. There, 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 there's one. There's one. Come back. Come back. I think the other one's up, up in their house. Oh, perfect spot, too. I put a bench here so you can sit and watch. Hey, hey. Hi. Hi. Uh, it's great to see you. Is there anything I can help you with? Woody and I need some treasure childhood souvenirs for enchantment. Do you have anything I could borrow in your collection? I promise Woody if we take good care of it, I guarantee you love the result. Oh, I'm sure I will. I got just a thing for you. A beautiful... Warshini. But Eric calls it a music box. I'll be happy to lend it to you and Woody. After all, you've done and helped. Yeah, at least I can do. Here you go. Alright, Mo. Oh, one to Moana. She, she was here a second ago. Uh, and she might be at home. <laughs> yeah! I knew it. Thanks knew for it. coming to see me. Hello. Off on our great adventure, Woody and I are trying to fix the carousel. Merlin enchanted an old choice chest to power up the light, but for it to work, we need some treasure childhood items. 
wonder if we can borrow something of yours. Uh, but the ocean gave you tons of gifts. It will help the village. Anything with a cute backstory would do. It will help the village. Because it kind of brightens it up. Oh. You know, I've always liked to help. I have just the thing. It was really young and I will run off to the beach on my own. A baby, <gasps> baby turtle needed to reach the water. So I protected it from some birds. And the ocean gave me some shells. And then the heart. Oh. Whoa. Uh, I'll be happy to share one of the shells with Woody. Here you go. Conch shell. Blow into it or put your ear towards it and you can hear the, the echoes of the ocean. Oh, Hello, how's that going with the carousel? Saw you made some repairs. Only missing one thing. There's an enchantment we need to do to turn on the lights. Is there a childhood souvenir you have strong feeling about that you can share with Woody? I'm looking for something iconic, uh, something magical, something with a ranger maybe? Uh, iconic? I don't know about Connor, but maybe I have something. Maybe you don't know this, but I kind of raised... Yes, I knew that. They were great. A little pl pushy, but really nice. They made me feel like I was part mm -hmm. of the family. So I got a little troll statue that will widow to remember them by. I'll happily lend, let you borrow it for to help Woody. Ooh, that looks adorable. Whoa. Whoa, look at all these things. I don't know what to say. I'm sure it means a lot to my fellow vill villagers trust me with their treasures. Hey, hey, while you're gone, I had an idea. We should put some things that come from two of us to the choice chest too. We need to create a perfect childhood memory. Oh. Uh, how would we do that? Uh, how about we build a blanket fort and invite some friends over, like Buzz. Uh, then we'll take a photo and then we'll put it in the toy chest. I, you got it. Let's start by gathering the materials for the blanket fort. All right. So I'll, I'll go ahead and craft that later after we find. Oh, the rain is beautiful. I agree. I find whatever we're put to dig up. Is it surfer? Okay, it's buried. Did I miss it? This was not here before. I think I started picking stuff up and then it showed. Okay, that was strange. I ran around the whole place. There we go. That has to be it. Oh, three pieces. Oh my goodness, Scar. Oh, fan. Fascinating. I remember this. I was locked in combat with Scarfellow. Hey, no. Oh, why were you fighting? I shouldn't. Why were you fighting? That's the thing. I don't remember. Let's go see Scar. I'm sure we can ask him. He, he, I'm sure he remembers and tell us. Something tells me he's not a great at sharing, but y you do know him better. All right, where is Scar? All right, everyone. Hold on, hold on. Let me make the, uh... The blanket thing first, and I think that five glass blanket for all oh, that looks beautiful. All right, okay, it looks like I have to put it inside or something, but uh, we're gonna delay that just a bit because that's the end of Woody's storyline right there. We're gonna go ahead and find Scar, which is right. Oh my goodness, right in front of Buzz. This is a sign. What is it, Scar? Pay attention to me. What brings you mingle with commoners? I recovered a memory from Buzz's path and it showed you two fighting each other. Uh, what happened? Time to spill the beans, Scar. <laughs> tis, tis, tis. Manners. I'm always eager to help you, you know. Well, that pint side nuisance has been insulting, insisting that he help keep the villains in the valley in line. I wonder how he would react if he knew what really happened back then. He wasn't exactly the hero he claims to be. Uh oh. What happened? I wish I could tell you more, but I'm dreadful hungry and I'm afraid my memory gets a tad fuzzy when I haven't eaten. Oh boy, let me get you. Want me to cook you some fish? Oh, I wouldn't dream of asking you, but since you offered. Oh, Scar, you, 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 you tricked me into that. There are two recipes in your little rat chef has made me that I quite enjoyed. Oh, I like that we're getting new recipes, right? Oh, no, 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 not the holiday one, not the holiday fish, all right? Not the holiday fish. All right, that's, I don't have one of that, okay? That is for keep forever. All right, let's go ahead and use, let's go use that catfish soup. All right, next one is tuna burger, a tuna melt. Oh, that sounds delicious. Oh boy, Scar ran down here. He knew I was going to give it to him. He ran down here like he's so happy. Here you go, buddy. Yummy food. 
It's about time. I made them for you. The food is accept. Oh, okay, never. I I made. I didn't make it for you. Mm. Now that I'm fam, so not so famished. My memory is suddenly coming back to me. Buzz and I weren't fighting that day. Quite the contrary. He was fall. He followed me after like a little lost cub, desperate to be my friend. It was all rather pathetic. Oh, ooh, really? You were friends? Friends? Ha! Don't be. I don't befriend any. I don't befriend annoying pests. If you search my cave, you find proof. Okay. You did it. Huzzah. Always get permission. Okay, you don't want to walk in someone's house by accident. Okay, this is their house. Alright, Scar, what are you hiding in here? Oh, wait. What's the truth? Oh. Oh, that's his badge. Wait. A fishing rod? Are, are they trying to catch some fish? A Star Command badge? Scar must have planted here to trick us. We can't have been friends. He's a villain. Why? It would be like if I befriended the real Emperor Zerg. <gasps> are we gonna get Zerg? That would be so cool if he's scrolling along like, oh, that would be so cool. Uh. Wait, I do remember that our battle took us all the way up the Riven Sunlit Plateau. Part of my memory is still fuzzy though. We have to keep searching for to know for sure. Um. It gives us a place to start looking for the truth. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. I'm sure we'll get the bottom of it. To the river in the sunlight plateau and bon beyond. Oh, no, it's good. Oh, they're catching fish. Oh, that's cool. So they were friends. Star, Scar was telling the truth. It wasn't a battle. You were just spending time together fishing. And Goofy was there too. But this, this can't be. This doesn't look like we were locked into combat at all. It looked like it was a great day. But how could it be the great day if the villain was there? They changed, buddy. They changed. They can't help but plot nefarious schemes unless... I need to talk to Scar. Alright, everyone. What are they going to say? Well, well, well. Looks like someone has trouble digesting the truth. You guys were great friends. You and I were... Were we really friends? Let's not get carried away. I merely tolerated you. Means he uh, appreciates you. You were the one constantly following me like a, a needy hyena. Oh, those three hyenas? I remember that day now. We had fun, didn't we? <gasps> Ugh, I suppose it was entirely unpleasant. Believe me, I'm embarrassed about all of this too. Now run along. Uh, don't worry, Buzz. He really cares for you. Look at him, see? He really cares for you. Uh -huh. What I learned today changes everything. Well, not everything, but a uh -huh. lot. I thought I was helping you defend the valley against villains, but instead I was pie-paling pie around with them. Pop-paling around with them. Being a hero isn't just about fighting evil. It's also about caring for from around you, giving others a chance to be better, and judging... Not judging others from a first impression. Every villain in Dreamlight Valley has a story. There are more, there are more than there's villains once, once you get to know them. That's very wise. I never thought of it that way. Maybe I should, shouldn't be so surprised. At the end of the day, we all sharing the same toy box called Dreamlight Valley. Yeah, it's going to expand someday. Uh -huh. Thanks for your help. But I need some time to process, process all this. So we're going to go ahead and hit... Buzz's final mission, I think it is. All right, everyone, this is last mission. She ran off after I check. I had to double check if it was his last mission or not, and he ran off. Cadet, our last mission, we learned. No, in fact, you helped me remember that being a hero isn't just about battling villains. Would you help the time to offer further assistance along the same line? So, amends, I'm guessing? I'm listening. Maybe our debrief at the end of our last mission, you told me her heroism is about looking past our first impressions. But I judge Ursula based on action and didn't fully understand. I didn't take the time to ask her what she was doing. Mm -hmm. I gotta make things right. I just don't know how. Mm, half heart apologies a long way. What would you expect from someone else? What you were wrong by just apologies. What were what would you expect? Hmm. I guess when Woody knocked me out on the window all those years ago, I wanted to I wanted to apologize and to be treated politely. Well, I know what we have to do. <clears throat> I don't suppose you come with me. It'd be good to have some backup. All right, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and finish off uh, Woody's right here since I have the blanket with me. All right, we got the fort. The fort is gonna be right in front of the bu 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 Buzz Buzz's vehicle right here. Wait, 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 wait! wait. It, it can't. 
if it put it in front of the Bud's vehicle, how, how do I get in through there? All right, we're gonna put it right beside the. Hey, hey, that was a lot of fun, partner. I'm glad Bud's can join us. Could join us. Oh, and I borrowed a book from Merlin on the enchantment. It says we're only missing one thing: a magic phase praise, a magic phrase to seal it. Why don't you pick it? Okay, there's a snake in my boot, and to infinity and beyond. To quote Rex, rawr. <gasps> okay, snake in the boot or infinity. Snake in my boot. I like snake in the boot. Yeah. <laughs> nice choice, partner. Whoa! Wow! Oh, it's moving too. Look at that. The carousel looks great. Thanks for your help. Now that we don't need it anymore, you can keep the blanket for it and put it wherever you like. You know, it just started because I just wanted to make myself useful around the village. But now I see that maybe just being around and reminding people of what it's like to be a kid, that's enough. You're pretty wise. Have you here is like having an inner voice that helped me see the big picture. That's why I wanted you to have this. A pull string like mine. It symbolizes our friendship. <gasps> Cool, what it what it is that like a hat? Uh -oh. Alright. Uh what is it now? What horrid deed have I done to deserve another visit from you? I uh I wanna apologize. <gasps> Really? Well, my dear, I'm all ears. Ursula. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have assumed you were up to a nefarious scheme. I hope we can be good neighbors in the future. As far as I'm apologies go, that was pitiful, but I suppose it'll have to do. <laughs> now, off you go. You mustn't overstay your welcome. Alright, alright, making amends. Time for the next patrol. I'm glad I could air with Ursula. Uh, your journey has given me an idea. We should open the Star Command Academy to train other protectors in the valley, whether they are a hero or a villain in the past. Let's start with three recruits. Of course, they'll need a Space Ranger badge. In fact, that can be your... Oh, no, I have to craft it, don't I? You have to make... I knew it. Blue ink before you can make badges. The ingredients are easy to locate. I trust you have no problems. All right, all right. Report to me with the badges, kids. So I'm going to bring Buzz along while I craft it. And we talked to um. There's, there's a nurse sock behind me. Yeah, I, I just thought, look, 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 look. <laughs> it's just right there. Astronauting cadet. These space ranger boot badges look authentic. Now we just need to decide who to recruit for our Star Command Academy. We need someone who proves that heroism comes from even small packages. That's Remy. Yes. Plus, he can cook for everyone. Hopefully, he won't mind having to prepare air tea and air crumpets for some of us. Okay, who else? We need someone who's a seasoned explorer, a little with a little bite, like, so someone can bite. That sounds like Moana. Wait, Moana again? Oh, we heard her travel. It's very impressive. Well, she she gave us the stuff. Okay, who else? Uh, a little bite. Scar. He kept the old badge for so long. He's practically ready. He cherishes it. That's why he left it there. Alright, I'll go find them. Alright, here you go, buddy. You are now, uh, you get a costume like mine. What sort of adventure are we going on today? Buzz and I would like to invite you to join our new Star Command Academy here in Dreamlight Valley. We need your way for experience. You learn more about you will learn more about the star. You can help the village. You learn more about the star. Really? That would be amazing. But I'm really more of a sea voyager. Are you sure I'll be a good fit? You left your island to save it when you didn't know much about sailing. That's a definition of heroism. You learn how to be a space person in some way. That's definition. Hmm, I guess I never thought about that way. It does seem like an interesting new <gasps> journey. All right, I'll try it. Then you need, you need a new badge, buddy. You need a new there badge. You, you again? Oh, goody. What's this? Another Space Ranger badge? Why would you bring me this? I have no desire to start a collection. Buzz and I would like you to join our new Space Ranger Academy here in Dreamlight Valley. Since You know, since you and Buzz are already such good friends, uh -huh. uh, for the last time I merely tolerated that puny nuisance because he's inedible. Uh -huh. Why would you possibly want me to join a little academy? Uh, I trust that it's good in you. Everyone should have a second chance. <laughs> With... Which presumed I've done something wrong. Look, if you don't want to help others, uh, do it to, uh, for yourself. You earn respect you deserve from other villagers, and there'll be a lot of food to in offer, Remy. 
for you. Put in the fire. Fine, I'll, I'll join your little club. All right, Remy's oh. just down here. Here you go, Remy. Honorary? Not honorary. You are a hey, member. Hey, it's you. What can I do for you today? Got a special order? Buzz and I are going to recruit for a new stars. Command Academy. Uh, think of all the recipes you can come ooh, up ooh. with. True. I could create new dessert for every meeting. Talk about yeah. a challenge. But aren't the Space Ranger big, tall heroes? Not sure if I'm exactly Star Command material. No worry. They come in small packages. They're n that never stop you from doing anything. <laughs> Not even become a top chef and perish. You're right. I've been thinking of getting involved in some village activities lately. This opportunity is too good to pass on. Sign me up. All right. We work well as a team. Mm -hmm. Our recruits are ready to join the ranks of Star Command. Ready and impatient. I recruit each of them personally. <laughs> Good job, Cadet. There's a special role for each of them, Star Command. I'm sure we'll let them know what it would be. There are a few things left to do. Let's make sure our headquarters appears inviting that our uniforms are top-notch safe. I suggest a proper landing pad for our ship. Ash Fault should work and blue, blue, blue balloon arch for the okay. So it's going to be like ceremony picture. Once you have the items complete, let's put them around the RV, uh, I mean Star Command, so ready for the welcome ceremony. Another mission accomplished with great success, Cadet. While you're away, I gave Remy his first time and he created an impressive buffet for the welcome <laughs> ceremony. Don't worry, there will be more than air tea and air crumplets. I need you to place the buffet and you already have your uniform on. Nicely done. I, I, I wore forever, buddy. Ooh! Congratulations, Cadet. Welcome ceremony was a huge success. Our newest recruits are there and had everyone had fun. It seemed to enjoy yep. the buffet. You know, when it comes to this village, I recon the mission. I didn't know what to expect, but you helped me find my place, remember my past here, and you helped me figure out what sort of hero the valley needs. I learned that from you when I was a kid, yeah. buddy. Wow, that means a lot. Working with you had been a better space ranger, which is why I think it's high time you got a new rank. Promote you to cadet to fully commissioned space ranger. <gasps> so fast. Wow, only the most exceptional recruit gets their wings so quickly, but you've proven that you are truly exceptional. And speaking of wings, yeah. here, your very own jet. No way, can I fly around? Oh. Kind of relieved there are so many nice can people. Can I? Here. No, the buzz can't fly around. There were so many nice I remember that when he tried it, but it didn't work, and he broke it, and he fell, and he broke his arm. <laughs> All right, so before we conclude, we're going to go ahead and pick up the sock. Oh. Mm, you found another one. This one has the G sewn into it. Find the villager who owns the chewed up sock. Well, G only has Goofy on it. What the? Goofy, where are you? Here you go, buddy. I went to your house, it's a mess. Hey there! What you got there? It's, it's a sock, something that might be yours. You're Whee! right, this one's one of my socks. I've been looking for them anywhere. All my socks just, just up and disappeared the other day. All of them? Hmm, now that I think about it, only half of them. The, the left sock out of every pair is gone. Oh boy, so you have only a right pair of socks? Left socks, but socks don't never never. This is getting weird. Mm, maybe the sock bandit wants to all have mismatched socks. Mm, yeah, think so. I wonder why. Did you see anything that was unusual? Matter of fact, I saw some funny lights in the sky before it happened, and I thought it was just some kind of shooting star. But now I think about it, Donald's been going on sock stealing space aliens for a week now. Maybe he's right. Hmm. I believe him all along. Say maybe Space Alien left behind some sort of clue when they mess up my house. What? They mess up your house, buddy? Good idea. Let's look around. <laughs> uh, got junk everywhere. Oh, what is that? Donald, look, look at this. Blue fur. What's that? Another clue? It's a, it's a space alien fur. You're right, Donald. There's no mistaking it. It's blue. The fur must have come down to sort of an alien yeah! space. Oh, boy. This is the best piece of evidence. Even better than that funny doohickey we found in my house. Ah, I just got an idea. The doohickey started beeping again. Let's, let's see what happens when we put the fur inside of it. Well, did you see that? It started flashing again. What does it say? It says... DNA match authorization 66% complete. Wow, it making less sense than it did before. I think it means that fur comes from whenever it's stealing everyone's socks. That might be the only way to find more clues to make it go 100%. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That'll be easy. I'll keep my eyes out for any more clues. 
Alrighty everyone, with that being said, that marks the end for now. For now, we completed two of our new friend story mission and also started Donald's or the missing, that, 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 the alien. I know who it is. You might know who it is. Uh, try to keep it to yourself just for now. Just in case someone who's watching, they're like, who is it? Who is it? And uh, I guess we're gonna find out soon. But I what I have to find another sock. I don't know if they um is it like uh do they appear randomly or at a fixed time like every two days or every day or something? I'm not too sure. I'll look around. Once I find it, then we're gonna go ahead and begin with that one. So with that being said, this marks the end for now. For now, with those end pictures, I'm. I think for um, any of the newer characters we get, I am going to go ahead and stick with one character story first and then start the others because I do like it that we get to know more about the characters and with Woody and Buzz, we both were able to take pictures and those pictures were actually pretty cool. So uh, I might actually do that in the future, who knows, who knows, or I actually might do mix and match and do a bunch of them all together. but. We'll see you for the future, but for now, have an awesome day and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.